Hi, this is Mr. Ward, and I'm going to do a quick explanation of what you're supposed to do in 14.2, Investigating Outliers. And if I make it super quick, I'll do a short one on the beginning of 14.3. So the first thing you're asked to is use technology to find the mean, the standard deviation, and the five number summary. Well, and you're doing it with this data. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up a Google Sheet or GeoGebra. Um, I'm going to use GeoGebra and input this data into it. So I'm opening it up. Um, I have already collected all that data, and that doesn't look like 1.0803, but if you hit enter, it'll show you that it is. It's just rounded. Same with all of these numbers. It will round them when you see them. So you get all your data in. You select all the data. Okay, and get to there. You hit this, and it gives you one variable analysis. And then you click this, and it will give you the summary statistics. You're looking for the mean, the standard deviation, and the five uh, number summary is minimum, maximum, median, quartile one, and quartile three. Okay, let's go back here. Now, <clears throat> you want to be considering whether or not the United States spending should be considered. Okay, the way you figure that out is you go and you look at that five number summary. You look at the, look at the maximum and the minimum and find out their difference. You see, do Q3 minus Q1, and I've done that already. Q3 minus Q1 gets you the interquartile range, and then you figure out what's 1.5 times that interquartile range. Then you figure out what's quartile three plus 1.5 times the interquartile range, and you figure out, is the United States spending beyond that? And then you have a pretty good reason to make a case for or against it being suspicious as an outlier. Then the next thing you're asked to deal with is what happens if you do remove the United States from the data set? Well, that's fairly easy to do. We can go into a new GeoGebra. We can copy, we can put that data in here, and then we can select it. We don't have to delete the United States, we just don't include it. When we click one variable analysis and we go over here, and then you've got a comparison. And you can compare between this GeoGebra and this GeoGebra, and you can find out what you need. Now, we move on to 14.3. Now, you're not going to have to use technology to do any calculations because it's already been given to you. So they've taken this data, which is the number of property crime thefts uh, in 50 colleges in California. And they've reported what's the mean, what's the minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and the maximum. Are there any values outliers? Well, you're going to need to find the interquartile range, which again is the difference between quartile 3 and quartile 1. Then you'll have to multiply that by 1.5 and figure out, okay, is 1.5 times this interquartile range beyond or not beyond this maximum or beyond or not beyond the minimum like the distance between quartile 1 and 15 is that more or less than 1.5 times the interquartile range is the difference from 260 to 768 more or less than one and a half interquartile ranges Okay, and then you got to decide whether there are any outliers. Do they exist? Should they be included in the analysis of the data? Now, in class, we'll continue on uh, with some more stuff with this, and I'm going to go ahead and stop. I hope that is.